you won't get these drinks out here I got money so they put it in the bag I'm pulling off all the tags and pulling off in the jag Fuck being broke, it's broke, niggas is mad Get a job with your broke ass and get it out the hoes ass I go fast when I'm riding through the city lights I'm from the Bay West Coast with your city like New nights, fresh jeans and a snapback Hey tribe, welcome back to my channel. I'm a vibe, you a vibe, we should vibe, so you should what? You should like, comment, share, and subscribe, but only if you want to, only if you want to, only if you want to, only if you want to. If you watching, that's really all I appreciate. Everything else is extra, and if you do so, I greatly appreciate it. If you want that extra juicy tea, go ahead and click the link down in the description below to join my membership. A new video will be up soon, so stay tuned. So basically, the video that's gonna be on my membership soon, it's going to be like the uncut version of this story time. So this is part three of how I lost my V-Car series. And like the X-rated stuff I'm going to put into another video. Y'all, I am filming in my car because it's my lunch break and I'm filming in my car. It's actually Wednesday the 22nd. So May wednesday the 22nd i am filming it is 12 45 p.m pacific standard time i am filming this video to have up to you guys today so yeah um i didn't film over the weekend because i just wasn't feeling it if y'all need an update please go watch my two recent lives please go watch my two recent lives they was lit as hell for sure the one on monday because dudes be having me effed up and I talk all about it and all that and I will be putting exposing who the guy is on my membership and putting like the whole tea on there so stay tuned for that to check that out my allergies is fucking up so I'm hoping they like calm down it's like as soon as I step outside my allergies go crazy so if y'all see me rubbing my nose sneezing and all that just know it's allergy season one minute they good one minute they're not all right y'all let's jump into this video okay so basically i left off on part two letting y'all know what happened me and lee kind of fell off um you know i just felt sick to my stomach about the whole situation and i kind of like isolated myself for a while like in the house and just kind of like cried for a few days because I was just like you know the hype wasn't hyping you know all this about ooh lose your v-card and da, da 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 like once I did it it was just like okay now what like this ain't all that and two bags of chips you know so it just it just really hit me like damn you know, and especially it was with a guy I didn't want to do it with in a situation I didn't even want to be in. And it was just very traumatizing. And I I just didn't know what to do. I didn't know how to express my feelings. I didn't I didn't know what to do. I was 12, 13. You know, it's like, how do you cope with something like that? I just basically blew down the house all day, every day to try to you know suppress the feelings i was having and you know try to move on from it so like i said me and lee went our separate ways i started hanging out with my other friend groups because i do have other friends besides lee at this time you know i had hella different friend groups so i just started kicking it more with my other friend groups because they was not as toxic as me and lee friendship so yeah like they were i never had any like major issues with my other friend groups like how i had with me and lee and me and longtime friend me and longtime friend we just always was having drama as well so yeah in this story time it's gonna be about green eyes of course that's the boy i lost my virginity to long time friend and then we're gonna be introducing a new character and you know when we get to that part we'll talk about it no 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 we will we'll be introducing a new character at the very end but for now blue eyes is in this too green eyes the boy i lost my virginity to and long time friend okay so long time friend 
sister and my sister was hella cool like i always be telling y'all so we started hanging out with my sister and longtime friend sister it, it pissed me off because it was like i was trying to get the fuck away from her oh let me stop cussing i was trying to be away from her and she just started coming to my house hanging out with my sister and it was like heck of pissing me off and i would just tell my sister like why are you hanging out with my friend like why are you hanging out with her and she was like you ain't never had a problem with me hanging out with her outside of you or anything like that like what's the problem and i didn't want to tell my sister what happened so i was just like you know whatever i just brushed it off mind you it's my big sister anyway and she was gonna do whatever she wanted anyway and if i had a problem with it she was gonna be like well do you want to fight about it and it was like girl i don't feel like fighting your ass because my sister me and my sister we love each other down but we fight you know what i mean and if y'all not on the membership y'all need to go be on the membership because i talked about how me and my sister got in some real fights okay but i love my sister to death okay yeah so after so long green eyes found me on my space and started messaging me y'all and at first it just made everything come back and i felt disgusted all over again i was finally starting to get to a space where i was like cool about it i started like i said hanging out with my other friends and just being social again and being actually happy again and when he just started hitting me up everything was just flooding back and i was just like oh my god so i didn't respond and he just kept hitting me like every couple days like what's up with you why are you avoiding me i thought you liked me i took your virginity why are you not trying to fuck with me blah 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 and i'm just like dude <laughs> like do you not remember how these events happen like it wasn't in the friendliest way it wasn't in a way where i'm just like oh my gosh butterflies yes it's about to be my boo no so after like a couple weeks i finally wore down and i was like okay you know what let me just see let me just you know let me just respond so i messaged him back and was like hey what's up how you been we just having small talk like kind of catching up a little bit i'm keeping it short and brief and cute nothing too much you know he would be asking me like when you gonna let me see you again when we gonna link again like i want to see you i don't know why you don't want to be around me i'm not gonna hurt you basically he was just telling me like you know you know he 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 understands how i might feel about how the situation happened but not to take it the wrong way you know he wasn't trying to like you know make me feel no type of way and i was just like all right cool you feel me i feel it so i started to feel like okay you know he's like apologizing he must know that i wasn't comfortable with the situation and he's acknowledging that so it started to make me feel like okay maybe he is a cool dude because at first i was looking at him like this monster because it's like i told you i didn't want to do it i told you to stop you can see it all over my face that i didn't want to do this yeah we were in the dark but you can tell you can feel when somebody is not enjoying something you could like you can tell my body language my face my everything i was so tense like you knew you know what i'm saying like come on now and i instantly got up and wanted to leave <laughs> like you knew i wasn't feeling that shit so it was like oh he okay he's taking accountability so maybe i should forgive him and you know see what's up with him because i did actually you know think he was cute or whatever but it wasn't like i liked him because again y'all i was connecting with blue eyes which was lee cousin green eyes and lee was having like a thing so it wasn't like you know but like i said either way he was fine as hell and he was cool but it wasn't like you get what i'm saying i wasn't like connecting with him how i was connecting with blue eyes so i'm just like okay let me just see what's up but you know he would try to link with me and i would just flake on him i would just cat on him he'd be like oh let's kick it today and i'd be like all right and then it'd come down to it and then i'd just be like nah i'm cool now mind you 
in between this time i haven't heard from blue eyes we never exchanged phone numbers or anything like that and if he did find me on myspace at this particular time he was not messaging me or nothing so i don't know if him and green eyes and blue eyes had a conversation and green eyes was like look i got her i i hit that so that's me i don't know but blue eyes um after that i like never i didn't never see him again but i didn't see him again after that obviously i stopped kicking it with lee like that so one day um after flaking on him for hella long i just thought like you know eventually he'll probably like get over it because mind y'all when i tell y'all this boy was fine this boy was so fine like he was brown skinned like me with green eyes and just had this fade with the waves y'all he was so fine he dressed nice and hella shit so i'm thinking like why would somebody like him be pressed about me like i'm just so confused like usually dudes you know i'm thinking like they hit it and quit it especially somebody like him he probably got hella options like why he worried about little old me so you know i just felt like oh, okay you know he must he must really be feeling me but still i was just scared to hang out with him again because it was like i don't want to do it with him again because i was afraid i was traumatized i was scared i didn't want a situation like that to happen to me again even though you know he apologized anyways y'all one day i'm hanging out with a long time friend and we at the park now we're not at the park that's by my house we had another park that's by my house but like not as close to my house so we at this park and we was either i think we was at this park already because we was blowing down the house with some dudes long time friend new they left and we just sat at the park and was just chilling we was like stupid lit just chilling at the park <laughs> so as we sitting at the park you know we just talking you know like you feel me i don't know what she was asking me she was probably asking me did i like the boys did i think any of them cute or something and i don't know i don't i don't remember this portion i don't know what these boys look like or whatever and i just know some boys came blew down the house with us and then you feel me they went about their way so we just conversating and then next thing i know like long time friend was talking in mid conversation this girl just stopped talking and was just like staring at something and she was like damn damn and i'm like girl what like what the hell like what what's wrong like what's going on she was like damn them dudes is fine and I'm like, what dude? So mind you, me and long time friend is sitting at a bench. She's sitting on this side. I'm sitting on that side. So obviously the boys that she's talking about is walking up from behind me and she can see them. I can't see them. So she like, girl, turn around. They so fine. But like, don't make it obvious. So I'm like, you feel me? Like, girl, <laughs> like I want to make it obvious because I want to turn my neck because I'm telling y'all like her mouth just dropped to the damn floor so I'm like these must be some fine dudes but then again I'm thinking you know me and long time friend we don't really necessarily have the same type long time friend at the time her type was all over the place we didn't really have the same type so I'm just thinking like they could be fine they could not be fine you know I don't know we don't like the same dudes like that so I don't pay no mind to it and then i mean she's just like she's like no girl they fine like you need to look back so y'all i like ease my way to look back you know over my shoulder and y'all y'all wouldn't believe who the boys are y'all my heart dropped to my toes my tippity toes to my big fucking toe y'all i'm like I felt like my breath left my body like I couldn't breathe like I felt I, I felt paralyzed I was just like oh my god I was just like girl oh my god like she like what 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 they fine huh and I'm like I know them and she was like you know them I was like yeah I'm like just play it cool though like I'm gonna see if they just walk by and just don't say shit to me because I've been ignoring oh it was green eyes and blue eyes so I'm thinking you know I've been ignoring him the whole situation I know blue eyes ain't gonna say nothing to me I've been ignoring green eyes so hopefully they see it's me and then they just keep walking like I'm just not even there like I don't even exist like keep just keep going keep walking so 
I'm sitting there, y'all. I'm shaking. I am literally shaking. And she's like, what's wrong, sis? And I'm like, girl, nothing. Just like nothing. Because I didn't tell anybody. Like, I didn't tell nobody. I didn't even tell a longtime friend. I did tell her after. But I used to tell longtime friend everything. Like, me and her know each other's deepest, darkest deepest darkest secrets you know like everything like literally everything but this i just didn't even want to talk about out loud because of how traumatizing it was to me so anyways they get close to us to where they're like able to see me you get what i'm saying they like walk up they look and then at first they kept walking and then they double back and they was like, Shayla, what's up, Shayla? And I'm looking like, wow, why? Why would they acknowledge me? So long time friend looking, she like, oh, you, you wasn't lying. Like they know you, they are saying you by your name. And I'm just looking at her like, girl, you know how we can talk with our body language and our eyes. I'm just like looking annoyed, like, so i'm like hey what's up y'all you know i didn't want to seem bitchy or nothing so i'm like hey what's up and green eyes was like oh uh why you been ignoring me i've been trying to see you i see you outside so you be acting like you can't come kicking or nothing but i see you outside and i'm like oh you know i just came outside i ain't been outside in a minute like i just been chilling in the house or at my friend's house stuff like that i mean i could have been in trouble because I used to get in trouble but I was never on punishment for too long I only had punishment for like a day or two but I used because I never came home when I said I was gonna come home so I'm just like lying making up something like oh I was on punishment or something I'm just now really coming outside you know my mom took my phone type shit so blue eyes was like yeah I ain't seen you in a minute what's up with you so they sit down blue eyes sat by long time friend green eyes sat next to me and when he sat next to me y'all he put his arm around me like to try to give me like a hug you know how you like kind of hug somebody while you but y'all both sitting down so i'm just visually if you like paying attention you could probably tell like i'm so uncomfortable but i'm trying to like play it off as best as i can that i'm cool but really i'm not but as we sitting there you know we all talking and i started to feel comfortable they didn't bring up the situation because i'm thinking like they probably gonna bring up the situation i'm gonna be embarrassed it's gonna be awkward it's gonna be weird because like i said i was originally talking to blue eyes and then i had sex in front of him with green eyes and now green eyes sit next to me so i'm just like ooh, like this could go left like really fast and be so uncomfortable for me and I'm gonna have to just get up and run you know I'm still I'm not close to home but I'm close to where I would run all the way home from here <laughs> like if shit get weird I'm sorry long time friend you better just follow suit you better get up and run with me if you see me run I because I, I don't know how this is about to go but as we sit in there chopping it up with them it was cool they didn't bring it up they didn't make me feel weird about it you know green eyes were just all hugged up on me and after a while i kind of just like felt relaxed i'm like okay you know he's not making it weird or nothing blue eyes is not making it weird he flirting with longtime friends so okay cool like i started to feel better like all right you know they are cool even though what i and i know y'all when i'm telling these stories i'm telling y'all in the mindset i had at these times i don't think like that now i would not in a million years let a guy around me that did something like that to me i don't care how cool he is but at the time i'm thinking like oh he cool like i he is fine like i could like him so we there at the park for a minute we talking we blowing down the house y'all we having a good time and i was just like okay i do really like him and you know i was still hypersexual but at that time i still haven't done it with anyone else it was just him so i'm just like okay maybe in my mind i'm thinking i should you know talk to him because if i want to do it i already did it with him i could just do it with him since i already did it with him I don't have to go trying to do it with somebody else and I don't have to worry about you know 
trying to do it with Toby because he doing it with everybody else. So, so yeah, that day go cool, y'all. I, we actually all exchanged phone numbers so i exchanged phone numbers with green eyes and he got my number Longtime friend and blue eyes exchanged numbers and stuff and then we went on about our way well shit by that time it was like getting nighttime so we needed to leave so long time friend come to my house and i finally tell her what happened and you know surprisingly she was like it made her sad she was like girl why you didn't tell me that happened i would have cussed him out because one thing about it long time friend she was one of them hyphy ass mexican girls ready to pop off on anybody at any time so that's one thing i will say you know kind of mm, she would stick up for me sometimes and i was just like girl i didn't even want it to be on none of that and you know i'm over the situation he cool you know i don't see him as this monster you know like today was good today was good like i feel comfortable being around him and i actually do think i like him and you know blue eyes obviously not worried about it y'all seem like y'all hit it off it's cool because she was like i won't talk to them we can block their numbers right now and i'm like no 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 like this is cool i like i like this dynamic it's way better than what was going on with me and lee because one thing about it long time friend she ain't never tried to pressure me in no weird situations she would put me in weird situations but she ain't never tried to manipulate me to do something i didn't want to do so i will say that mm, yeah so eventually y'all we just would always be kicking it we just at first we just started kicking it at the parks linking up and then eventually we started going to green eyes house and at green eyes house he lived with his older brother his older brother worked all the time or would be somewhere else now where else the brother would be is gonna come back up in a little bit but at the time we didn't know where else we, he would be he would just be like oh he out or oh he here with his partners or something or at work and even at times when his brother was there he wouldn't trip about green eyes having company and they lived in like a three bedroom house so one bedroom was like a guest bedroom so when we used to come over y'all we used to start doing the freak nasty like that's one thing i will say like long time friend y'all was my friend I could bring with me to do anything like if i would she i would tell her like girl we about to go do the freak nasty she with it i'm with it that's just what it was that was like my friend i could do anything around anything with and she wasn't gonna judge me and i never judged her even though she would annoy me with some of the stuff she did i never judged her because like i said long time friend ben lost her virginity hella stuff was going on with her heck of rumors was going around about her i never judged her i never judged her i just didn't like that time she put me in that weird situation where i had to escape the house um if i can find a story time i'm gonna put it here yeah but other than that you know i never judge her so yeah i would be in one room bumping and grinding with green eyes and she would be in the guest room with blue eyes bumping and grinding it would be a thing and you know me and green eyes just had a thing like i i still have my own little things going on talking to dudes kicking in with dudes but i wasn't having sex with them i don't know what he was doing outside of me you know guys they do whatever but I never asked i didn't care he never asked me we just had an understanding you know we just knew you my little you my little yeah yeah i mean it wasn't called that at the time but basically that's what it was that was my little yeah yeah like it wasn't nothing serious but it was serious like we kicked it like i'm gonna say throughout the week we linked at least three to four times out the week and i was cool with it because like i said okay so i'm gonna give y'all the like i said the more x-rated versions of this on the membership but just like a, a peek into it the first time we did it after the first time y'all he was because he could tell i was uncomfortable at first y'all he was so gentle and patient and like talk to me and 
you know it was it was it was cool it was cool and so after that it was like man anytime i felt like i wanted to do something i'm calling him up i'm texting him and i never had no issues he was always ready with it anything i could it could be any time of the day night i could hit him up if he's not busy or something he coming walking meeting me we going to his house taking me to the what well he didn't have a car but we walking to the store he buying me stuff we going to his house we doing the freak nasty we chilling it, it wasn't one of them okay we did it now leave me alone go about it. no it was like i don't know i know y'all gonna be like girl but he you know took your b card and you didn't want to lose it i know i know i know i know but afterwards everything was cool between me and him so yeah um so everything was good at first i'm gonna say for like the first month so the first month of this dynamic of me with green eyes long time friend with blue eyes y'all everything would be so cool we would just go kick it with them get our freak on go in the living room watch movies and just be chilling and it was just like so cool like it was just a good old grand time until until I don't know if green eyes was telling blue eyes about what we was doing but I don't know blue eyes or he didn't like what he had going on with longtime friend but y'all eventually he found my myspace and he started hitting me on his myspace he was like oh when you gonna let me um no not when you gonna let me he was like when is me and you gonna kick it just me and you and I was basically telling him, like, you know, you know, me and Green Eyes got something going on. He was like, yeah, but I was talking to you first and I feel like you should fuck with me instead of him. I could do you right. I could do you better. And I'm like, you know, I thought you and longtime friend, y'all was hitting it off. Like, was, like, you feel me? Like, what's, what's going on? Like, you know. I'm just trying to tell him basically nah like I'm really into green eyes and I know my friend is into you so nah I'm good and he did this for like a week or two and one day longtime friend wanted to use my phone for something and because what kind of phones do we have no we couldn't check her myspace on our phone she didn't go through my phone no she was getting on my computer to get on her myspace or something and usually i would log out and then tell her okay go ahead and log in i thought i had logged out but i didn't log out and so when she got on the computer i was already in my messages so she's seen that green eyes was talking to me and i was responding but i was basically telling him like nah like he would say some stuff and i entertained it but not in a way where anytime he asked me to kick it with him or anything like that i would be like nah but if he said something else like oh you cute or you know I, I think i think you know i was just you know saying like oh thank you you know if he complimented me or something but still i was still basically telling him nah like my friend like you i'm not one of them friends even though lee did like green eyes i feel like i was valid in that situation i mean she basically forced me on him so i mean yeah it's just a lot but anyways so she saw the messages y'all when i tell you this girl started going off on me she was like oh you hella shady if you like the blue eyes you should have told me yada 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 and i'm like did you not read our messages i you clearly see that i'm telling him no because i like green eyes i like what me and green eyes got going on and my friend clearly likes you so no y'all when i'm telling you she's like Oh, you trying to be a hoe? You want to F him too? Wooty, 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 woo. And I'm like, girl, I know for one, you're not talking because you, you didn't F everything moving. Like, let's not go there. I never, ever, 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 ever throw your 
sexual behavior in your face not ever i just tell you don't put me in situations i don't want to be in i never throw that stuff in her face and be like oh you mess with him 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 and him all in the same night i never so i was just like girl are you are you kidding me right now for when you in my house in my clothes let's not because girl you always in my clothes always in my stuff okay so let's don't do too much don't do too much don't do too much using my computer in my house in my clothes and you 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 doing a lot of this i'm just trying to tell her i'm like girl i don't like him no more because i did like him but after the whole y'all know i'm like girl i don't like him no more i you first of all first of all you effing him i don't want to f nobody that this girl f to be for <laughs> not to say it like that but y'all <sighs> no i'm cool i'm not even that type of girl to 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 do something like i'm not effing nobody you effed with i'm like girl you can have him i don't want him whatever y'all got going on is what y'all got going on i don't know why he trying to come over here i don't know but you clearly see in the messages i'm not trying to mess with him so <laughs> yeah y'all she was just getting so mad y'all we're like in a heated argument we bumping each other and shit and i'm just like girl you can leave you can go you can get up out my house you're not about to be yelling at me in my face doinking my head like you big dog you might be older than me you might be big sis but bitch let's let me remind you you're in my fucking clothes in my fucking house using my shit and i know goddamn well you not gonna bite the hand that feeds you boo boo because i feed you i clothe you girl gone somewhere until she like all right all right all right y'all she bumped me hella hard and shit and i'm just like are you kidding me i'm just like you know what i'm gonna let i'm gonna let this slide because i ain't even i ain't even finna entertain this because i know i didn't do nothing wrong i told him i don't want to mess with him i don't want to kick it with him none of that like ain't gonna be none of that so i text green eyes and i was like next time we hang out i don't want to hang out with i just want to hang out with just you i don't want it to be me you and longtime friend and, and blue eyes like can it just be me and you for once because most times if i did kick with him no matter what time of the night or the day it was longtime friend was usually at my house they was coming like you know what i mean so he like yeah cool whatever so the next time i come to his house i'm just telling him i'm like um i'm not trying to start no drama i ain't trying to be messy but you know the situation already pretty much messy and drama filled because of how everything happened but i'm like look blue eyes be trying to talk to me long time friend found out we got into it i don't know what's going on i know that's your friend but i you know me and him we had a like y'all we had a really good thing that's one thing about it y'all he was always nice to me never rude to me after the situation like he was always so gentle and everything like i don't know but he was like really cool after you know the initial incident so he was just like oh don't worry about it i ain't gonna say nothing i don't even think it's worth to even bring up to him just you know ignore it and i'm like yeah that's what i've been doing that's what i'm gonna keep doing i'm just letting you know because i don't know what he on i don't know what she on i don't know i just don't want no drama i just wanted to let you know because that's your friend so he like yeah cool don't worry about it after that situation it would just be me and green eyes you know me and longtime friend were still friends we would still kick it here and there i don't know what was going on with her on blue eyes i didn't ask she didn't really tell me so i don't know what happened eventually blue eyes stopped trying to talk to me and you know me and green eyes just continued our thing now we didn't always we wasn't always consistent like you know i was liking other boys i would stop talking to him and then talking to other boys he would be talking to other girls but it was never no bad blood or anything like that and then when we got bored of them we was right back on like y'all we was like an on and off thing for so long but it wasn't like no drama it wasn't toxic we wasn't like oh you doing this with them and you with them it was like none of that so i'm gonna say like a year after meeting green eyes you know our on and off again thing i was kicking in with my friend michelle one day and 
he called me he was like i want you to come over i miss you i want to see you come to the house and i'm just like oh i'm with my friend and i don't want to just be bringing her to your house and you feel me if i do come over she would come with me because i'm not gonna leave my friend and he was like come over my brother here she would probably like him just y'all come over and so i'm asking my friend michelle i'm like okay you know one of my little boos green eyes he wants us to come over do you want to come over he said he got a brother i mean if you ain't into the brother you ain't got to be into the brother he just wants us to come over and just chill for a little bit so she was like let me talk to him so she was like if i come over is you gonna make some food he was like yeah i cook for y'all i didn't even know he cooked you feel me like when we would come over there he would make like little stuff like sandwiches or just microwave type food i didn't know he knew how to like cook for real so she was like yeah you gotta cook for me because i'm hungry i want some chicken and rice and he was like i got you i could do that we got chicken and rice i'm about to start thawing it out right now so i'm just laughing because i really think he planned i'm like cracking up so she was like all right we finna be on our way so i'm basically telling her i was like girl that nigga don't know how to cook like don't be expected to get no chicken and waffles she was like girl i was just playing i was like okay cool so we walk over there and when we get there we come in and y'all he's literally thawing out chicken like he's literally thawing out chicken and i'm like you really about to cook chicken he like yeah your friend says she wants chicken and rice i got the chicken thawing out like he had it under some warm water he was like it should be thawed out soon i'm about to fry it up and i was just like you lying your brother probably finna do it he was like no nah, i know how to cook so i'm just like okay we gonna see we gonna see so he introduced us to his brother well i knew the brother but um oops he introduces my friend to the brother i'm saying what's up to the brother or whatever y'all we all in the living room chilling watching a movie and when the um chicken got done thawing out green eyes was frying that chicken up when i tell y'all i don't know why that shit was so funny me and michelle just kept laughing we was just rolling we was like this nigga really frying up some chicken like what the fuck i was just like i like i should have been asking this nigga to cook for me then like what it took my friend to ask to cook okay you know what i'm y'all it just made me like him even more but i never wanted a relationship like serious with him i just like what we had going on my little yeah 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 you feel me when i need it yeah, yeah you feel me so y'all <laughs> he get done cooking this chicken yeah so y'all he cooking this chicken y'all we sitting at the dinner table eating the chicken y'all laughing cracking up just having a grand old time one thing about it michelle was so funny like oh my god michelle was funny as fuck oh i'm running out of space is that what they're saying i'm running out of space hold on y'all hold on i'm gonna be right back i need to delete some stuff off my camera okay y'all back so yeah we at the dinner table we eating like two couples <laughs> having a double day y'all we tearing down chicken was fire fry and seasoned to the tea y'all we grubbing we smacking like and like we eating down and i don't know i just felt so comfortable in front of him because at that time y'all i was one of them scary eaters you know when you get in front of boys and you eat in and you be just picking pick y'all we was all i mean well i was lit as hell and everybody was lit as hell except for michelle if she did if she did hit it she probably hit the uh because we was um blowing down the house um as he was uh cooking the chicken as well but michelle didn't blow down a house like that she would hit it like sometimes here and there but not not all the time yeah so if she did hit it y'all she hit it like one time but yeah y'all we tearing down that food we tearing down that food we tearing down that food y'all next thing we know next thing we know the front door just flung open front door flung open so we all looking like what the hell you know we thinking like damn is it windy outside did the wind blow open the door so me and green eyes our backs are towards the door and green eyes 
Green Eye's brother and Michelle is, you know, they can see what's going on at the door. Y'all, when I tell you Green Eye's brother looked like he seen a ghost, y'all, he was looking so spooked. So I'm looking like, what's going on? I'm thinking that nigga's really seeing a ghost because the door just flew open. I didn't, we didn't hear nothing. Didn't nobody say hello? Like, I'm here, nothing. I'm home, nothing. Mind you, why would anybody be just busting in the house? Who is it? Because it was just Green Eyes and his brother who lived there. So we thought. So we thought. So we thought. Y'all, when I tell you that nigga jumped up and was like, don't even, don't even start no shit. What you doing here? Bro, my friend Michelle is, for one, she's still eating her chicken. She's, <laughs> y'all. She's still eating her chicken. She's still fucking it up. But you can, she's like laughing. So y'all, I turn back and I see it's a female. And uh, now my friend Michelle wasn't trying to talk to his brother on no series. No, his brother was older. Actually, his brother was like 18. His brother was 18, but he was I mean, he was on his shit. I don't know how he had his own spot or who spotted what. I don't know. He was like 18. And at the time, I think I was 14, maybe turning 15-ish. So Green Eyes was probably like 17. So they it wasn't like they was like super older than us. His brother was, I think he was 18 or 19 but yeah anyway but she wasn't trying to talk to him it was like none of that y'all we was like super chilling he wasn't trying to get at her or nothing like that or nothing like that but they was flirting but it wasn't oh no okay this finna be my boo or i don't know they was flirting but it wasn't nothing serious mind you we only been there for like two three hours we ain't been there for super long like literally we watched a little movie blew down the house he fried that chicken up and then we was sitting at the table eating and i mean we didn't even get we just had started eating <laughs> you feel me like so he had made um he had made wings drums rice he had made more than the, the rice too he had made like veggies and stuff girl they made uh, i said girl like i'm on the phone they made kool-aid everything so we just started eating for real <laughs> y'all that nigga was running running towards her he like don't even start that shit this my brother's friends it ain't none of that he's like y'all the girl was like no who that who that be you sitting next to who that be you sitting next to y'all was just real uh giggly over there he's like it ain't even none of that it ain't even none of that hey y'all i'm just looking back like i'm like green eyes who that like who that like what's going on he like oh man that's his that's his baby mama i'm like baby mama baby mama I didn't even know he had a baby. What? I'm like, I'm just stuck. I'm just like, I'm like, should we go? He was like, no, nah, y'all ain't gotta go. That's his, that's his problem. Y'all, when I tell you him and the baby mama is yelling, screaming, and my friend Michelle just laughing, eating her chicken, y'all. I was holding a piece of my chicken, just I could eat. I, I was just so invested. Like, what the hell is about to happen? Y'all, they arguing and stuff. He like, don't do too much. He was like, she was like, nah, because I'll fight them hoes. I'll fight them hoes. Y'all, me and Michelle just looking like, who? What hoes? <laughs> Where the hoes at? Like, why she want to fight us? I'm so confused. What, what, what's this about? What? I, I'm so confused. Y'all, y'all, he basically like grabbed her up. Took her to the room, y'all. All we was hearing was boom, 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 yeah, I think we about to uh, cut up out of here. <laughs> Cause, yeah, but let's finish this food, though, because it is good. <laughs> the chicken is hitting. So, y'all, we just laughing. It's just laughing, eating our food. I'm just like, this is crazy, y'all. My friend like, damn, you can fry some chicken. <laughs> y'all, it was just so funny. They in the room just arguing, fighting, whatever going on in there. I don't know. So we finished the chicken and I just told him, I was like, look, 
we go get up out of here maybe i'll come back later or i'll see you another time he was like all right all right cool he was like let me walk y'all halfway there so he walked us halfway there y'all we just laughing about the whole the whole situation like from start to finish from him calling me my friend telling him she, uh, if she only come in if he make us food he actually making the food y'all it was just a, a funny moment so after that me and green eyes continue to do our thing we would link up do the you know freak nasty or whatever kick it hang out you know we didn't always just go to his house and do the freak nasty sometimes we would just meet at the park and just hang out outside blow down the house take walks little stuff like that and it was just like a cool vibe like i said me and him was like on and off you know he would go do this i would go do that so after that some time had passed i had you know start talking to other people and eventually me and him came back together so you know i'm gonna say like another year had passed i think i met pop up and you know pop up was popping in and out and me and him had started linking up again and one of the times i was kicking in with him y'all we was at the park we was at a park and we was kicking it <clears throat> and some girl walked up to the park as we was kicking it and just started cussing him out going off on him and was like who this bitch who this ugly ass bitch you with da -da 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 -da. i'm pregnant with your baby and you're at the park kicking it with some bitch and we supposed to be together we supposed to be working it out he was like girl that's not my baby you didn't f everybody in the hood i don't fuck with you stop talking to me leave me alone i been blocked you y'all it was just a weird ass moment and i was just like okay here i go again obviously him and his brother some dog ass niggas which i get it because he was fine as hell he was fine as hell and i just got up y'all and walked away i don't know what happened i was just like yeah no i got up and walked away and y'all <laughs> later that day or well, later that night y'all he did hit me up and he was like come back through and i was like nah you got too much going on mind you it had been like a year between the last situation of his brother baby mama drama and now him and i guess his soon to be baby mama drama i don't know and i was just like you be having too much going on like i'm cool he was like nah i'm telling you that's not my baby she just want me to be her baby daddy she didn't ask everybody who knows who her baby is i ain't even messed with that girl in months da -da 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 -da. she be stalking me and i was like stalking now see definitely i don't got time for nothing like that uh -uh, i'm cool he like man just come through come through so y'all i came through and y'all i'm gonna tell this on the membership but y'all when i tell y'all boy we went to his house and nobody was there when i tell y'all we was freak nasty and all through this boy's house or his brother's house Y'all, we even when he had like a, a garage type. Y'all, we was in the garage. When I, y'all, we was just, we was wilding out. But y'all, that was the last time. After that, I was like, nah, I'm not. I kind of just got over the situation. I was into other boys. I think me and Kevin started really dating. And I was just, no, this was, no, this was, no, me no this is when i first met kevin this is when i first met kevin but me and kevin didn't start dating right away i met kevin we had like this fling and then we didn't really start being boyfriend and girlfriend to the next year but i was into kevin so i wasn't really trying to like deal with him no more and then the distance started getting to me of me and kevin being so far at this time i wasn't going and spending the night at his house and stuff like that so i would just come out there sometimes on the weekend and hang out for the day and then come back this was before me and him like got in a relationship and then our parents was allowing us to you know stay at, stay at each other's house for the weekend or holidays so y'all one day i'm walking and i'm thinking i'm cute y'all know i'm a wanderer i'm just walking around and i see this car and it was a nice car with a scraper y'all should know what a scraper is already if y'all don't know what a scraper is it's a 
it's a older car at the time it wasn't an older car but it's like a buick box chevy or a lexus or something on 26s 28s candy paint slapping in the trunk just some ghetto ratchet shit some some real bass shit for real for real y'all i'm walking i see the car i'm like okay so I started trying to walk extra cute because I'm like, ooh, what if the nigga fine? So, you know, the car hit the corner or whatever, and I'm not thinking nothing of it. Y'all, the car doubled back. So, I didn't even notice the car, like, double back or whatever. So, I'm just still walking. I don't know where I was going. And he pulled up on me and tinted out. I couldn't even see inside the car. So, I didn't even know what the dude looked like. I just seen the car and was just like, okay feel me so he pulled up on me he let the window down he was like hey what's up with you little mama what's up with you so i'm looking you know i'm trying to peek y'all because at this time i didn't have contacts and i would walk around with sunglasses and i couldn't even see i couldn't even see I, this was yeah i didn't start wearing contacts to high school so sometimes y'all would be walking around i couldn't even see i did I used to keep my glasses on me in case i needed to see so y'all i'm squinting trying to look i'm like huh you're like, what's up with you, little mama? What's your name? So I was like, oh, I'm Shayla. What's up with you? What's your name? He was like, oh, I'm Hazel Eyes. I know y'all, these colored eyes. These colored eyes, man, be getting me. That's why I don't be dealing with them no more. But nah, this ain't even a funny situation. Like the situation between me and him, how that's turned out. I'm just saying, I don't deal with them colored eyes. They y'all, y'all be looking at me and then I be in a spell so yeah i walk up to the car so i can see so i walk up in the car i was like oh i'm shayla what's your name he like i'm hazel eyes he was like you cute what you doing walking and i'm like boy i ain't got no car i'm a teenager like what do you mean he was like oh, okay um you should take a ride with me and i'm like no sir stranger danger i was like i don't know you he was like man i ain't gonna do nothing to you just get in the car with me i'm like no i don't know you i don't know you he was like all right we'll take my number down and you know maybe we can kick it and and i get to know you so that you can take a ride with me one day and I'm just like, all right, cool. So I took his number down. I gave him my number. And he was like, I'm about to hit you. Make sure you lock me in. So, y'all, he texts me. And I was like, okay, I'm going to lock. I mean, I had his number, but I saved him under his name, Hazel. And I was like, okay, Hazel. Y'all, I go about my day. And, y'all, when I tell y'all he was just as fine and if not finer than green and blue eyes put together y'all this man this boy was so fine and he had a car and he was just he had a chain he had a grill i'm like oh i'm just thinking like i didn't think nothing of it after that i'm just like there's no way this the third fine dude in a row with these colored eyes that want to talk to me like uh-uh ain't no way like this is too good to be true i'm not cute like that like mm -mm. like this too good to be true mm -mm. he don't he just trying to pop his shit today so after that y'all me and him didn't text or nothing because i he had texted me and was like what's up with you what you doing y'all i never responded because i was just like mm, he he like he don't really want to talk to me he was probably just bored that day or something i don't know maybe it was a dare maybe it was a prank i don't know he don't really mm -mm. so um like a week later i'm walking again and i see him again and he was like, Shayla, why you been ignoring me? Why you been avoiding me? I thought you was going to let me take you for a ride. You ain't never hit me. And I was like, Hazel Eyes? He was like, you know who it is. You know me. And I'm like, yeah, but I was just like, I didn't. He was like, why wouldn't you think you saw me if you see me riding around before? You don't think I was going to run into you? And I'm like, nah. So he was like, just come have a seat in my car. So I know against my better judgment. Yeah. Y'all, I sat in the car. He didn't drive off or nothing, and I kept the door open. I sat in this car. I had, like, one leg out, one leg in. Y'all, we talking, and I even told him, I said, what you, what you, what you, what you doing trying to talk to me? Like, 
you just trying to I, at this time i started getting a little bit more vocal i'm like you just trying to f me or something because what he's like nah i like you cool like i like your style you unique and i was like oh that's my little day he's like oh, okay yeah that fits you like he was like i like you i like your little style you got going on because y'all back then i had my own little retro style like i was such a a girly hoochie punk rock type girl y'all I, I just have my own style like you can if if i could have people tell and describe how i was in high school when i tell y'all my style was just so above its years like how everybody dressed now is how i was dressing in middle school high school when i finally started like finding my my groove of stuff so we talking we chopping it up and my mama started calling me so i was like look my mama calling me i gotta go but yeah like i definitely want to take that ride with you he was like yeah he was like you you blow down the house i'm like yeah he was like yeah i'll, I'll blow you out i can pull up on you pick you up blow you out we can go to the movies or we could chill or i could take you to the water da -da 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 -da. so i'm like all right cool so y'all i'm gonna stop this story time right here and we gonna pick back up on part four next week and uh, shit don't be sweet when you think it is all the time everything that glitters ain't gold and i just wish i had better discernment back then but people be putting on this mask of deceitment and sometimes it's it you don't know people's true colors until it's too late so yeah but uh, y'all i just i don't know just sitting back reflecting sometimes y'all i just be like i wish i could go back to younger me and just hug her and just tell her how special she is and how a lot of people didn't deserve my presence and energy and that I'm beautiful and I don't need a man to validate my beauty and I didn't need to try to use my body to feel beautiful and get attention I just wish I could just go back and love all you little me I really wish I could because I was doing a lot of things at a young age that I shouldn't have been doing because I wanted attention. I wanted to feel pretty. I wanted to feel seen. And I felt like because I had a nice body that I could use that to my advantage. And that's not a good thing at a young age, at any age, you know? y'all i did not expect to cry <laughs> i cried last video and i didn't expect to cry <laughs> but just reflecting on little me i was so lost i was so gullible <sighs> i just wish i could go back and love on that little girl so much and tell her <laughs> don't worry about none of this don't worry about boys don't worry about girls teasing you and making you feel not pretty and guys teasing you and only wanting to use you Whew. 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 Cause y'all, it affects me so much now. I be so. If y'all didn't watch my live from Monday, if y'all made it this far, please go watch it. 
but I just be so cautious of hanging out with guys now at first I can have a conversation with them everything be going cool but then it started come down to like really hanging out with them and doing stuff and I just I just get so reclusive and I'm just like nah like nope nope <clears throat> nope nope because every time I feel like I do I'm in a situation I don't want to be in or some weird stuff happens and that's why I'm not dating right now like you know me and friend friend are friends and I appreciate his friendship I don't think it'll ever be anything more than a friendship especially at this point but you know he's like the one guy I could like be around though and you know outside of people I like already knew or something and even still you know because I just always feel like something's bad gonna happen you know and I'm healing inner me that's why I'm not dating and I'm trying to focus on myself and love on myself because there's a lot of things I still need to work on so that I can you know start attracting a better quality of men and be in different situations with guys and not be with these low vibrational men but yeah, y'all, y'all stay tuned uh, to part four. Yeah, I feel like I left something out. Oh, you know what? When we was at that park, the reason I walked away is because well for one they was going back and forth but I think the girl was trying to say she wanted to fight me or something I'm like I'm not finna fight no pregnant girl so I was just like I'm just about to walk away like mm -mm. y'all cause she was pregnant you can see that she was pregnant she definitely was pregnant but yeah but yeah y'all I'm gonna end this video here I'm a vibe you a vibe we should vibe so you should what you should like comment share and subscribe but only if you want to only if you want to only if you want to if you watch and that's really all I appreciate everything else is extra and if you do so I greatly appreciate it if you want the extra juicy too go ahead and click the link down in my description below to join my membership deuces <laughs>